With environmental issues being a hot topic of discussion these days across the world, Whittier's own professor of sociology, Sal Johnson, has been encouraging the college to reduce their carbon footprint. In 2008, Johnson and his students began the Waste Management Project, where they measured waste in the CI. And in 2009, they kicked off a second project where they measured waste in the dorms. What first began as an idea to reduce trash in the CI quickly turned into a project supported by students and faculty. Johnston moving into Hartley House this fall will pave the way for him to expand his green empire. When we started the project, we took the trays away. Okay? And that cut the food waste by about half. It went from over 10 ounces per person to 5.4 ounces per person. But then when we started scraping out in front, if you were here and you remember that, <laughs> where people could actually see it, that's when it really dropped. And it dropped all the way down to three ounces per person, which is huge if you think about the drop from where we started in one year. Most people eat with their eyes, so when you have a tray, you kind of your, your first instinct is to fill up every blank space on the tray with plates. And so when you don't have a tray, everyone's forced to have one plate or two plates and carry as much as they can, get up when they want more. We're supposed to be implementing next year, hopefully, uh, reusable containers for to-go boxes. And so we're going to test drive these this spring with a group of like 30 or 50 students and sort of run through the barcode and getting them returned and washed and work out all the logistics. And then if that goes well, you won't be getting a to-go box next year. You'll be getting one of these containers that you'll bring back and the CI will wash for you and it'll just be an exchange system. Hopefully with Sal Johnson, these projects, him getting the Hartley House and uh, making Wamberg a green dorm, that will maybe be a catalyst for change on campus. But if institutions, existing institutions are gonna become more sustainable, it can't just be about building new infrastructure, it has to be dealing with the infrastructure that's already in place. And so I th that's why I think this is so important because how do you take an existing dorm and with that structure that wasn't built to be particularly sustainable, particularly efficient, how do you make it more so? And there's some interesting things you can do. Um, heating and cooling, um, strategic placement of trees. I mean, there's some really, really low cost, low tech things um, that have been implemented other places. And so that's the kind of stuff that we're gonna be looking at. After I did the project, I don't waste food anymore. I clean my plate every day um, just because I mean, I guess I sort of have to. I'm on board with the project, and I mean, I just can't see not doing it anymore. I just see it seems so wasteful not to. And I definitely like get on my friends about it, like find myself like eating the end of people, other people's foods and stuff, and like telling people they shouldn't be wasting food and stuff. If you'd like to get involved, Sal needs all the help he can get. Uh, you just email Sal at sjohnson at whittier.edu, and you can help us go through trash in the mornings in the dorms or you can help us scrape plates. We mostly have freshmen doing it in Social 100, so, but I get paid, you know. <laughs> if you want to join the effort in improving our campus sustainability, make sure you contact Sal Johnston or drop by his office in Platner. Applications for Womberg's Green Living next fall can be picked up in residential life. For QCTV, this is Yasmin Koram.